Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Jordan on my channel. It's just Jordan and you guys. I'm so excited about today's video because I feel like it's been a long time. We're finally getting to talking about summer trends of 2022. So I'm not gonna hold y'all. We're going to go ahead and get started. But y'all know, for the people who are my regulars, we gotta give the disclaimer. Cause some people, ah! Cause I don't fight or tussle in the comments. If you don't like trends, okay, I don't want to hear about it. That's very cool for you. I'm not sure why you clicked the video, but we're just going to carry on. We're not going to, look, I'm not about to hold up everybody else because you wanted to be here and be a troll. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and say, so I picked out some of my personal favorite trends that will be occurring this summer. That does not mean that these are the only trends in existence. These are just my favorite okay i just don't have it in me to sit and talk about something i don't like for 20 25 minutes so we're going to talk about my absolute favorite ones so one thing you guys will notice is if you saw my spring trends video there are some that kind of circulated from the spring to the summer trends because you know when we get to spring dressing it kind of gets like you know summertime dressing but like in the early stages oh so yeah if you see some similarities that's definitely why but let me say this I'm actually kind of impressed with the summer trends this year because I feel like, of course we have our regulars. There's some that you will probably see every year for the rest of your life. Um, but there's some new ones. There's some new girls up in the mix and I'm excited to talk about them, okay? Because I was getting a little tired of kind of the typical, you know, I don't have to explain to you what the typical summer trends are. So there's a couple dabbled in here that may surprise you. Per usual, let me know what your favorite trend is and then you can even let me know what your least favorite trend is. It's funny to hear both. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start with the first one. And also, if you see me looking down, I do have my laptop because um, I cannot remember every picture that I'm using as a visual aid. So I gotta see what I'm talking about. So trend number one that I'm absolutely obsessed with, tailored fits. So when I mean tailored fits, a lot of you guys will probably know what I'm talking about. If you're into vintage, you probably been on this. It involves like a lot of suits, a lot of trousers, a lot of pleating um so yeah of course we've got like the blazers we've got vests but when it comes to tailoring like it's supposed to be crisp it's supposed to look good tailored doesn't mean you literally have to take it to a tailor but i mean that probably could help so let's get into some examples of what some tailored fits could look like so the first one that i'm absolutely obsessed with is this one where we can see I think her name's like Emily Retta something. And her name is Emily, but she is a model. And you basically just see her sporting like a little bralette. She's got uh, the blazer on top. You can see that this is a very cut and tailored structured blazer. This is a great way to incorporate this trend into the summer. She's got the light colors going on, although she is wearing something heavy like a blazer. So that's absolutely perfect but you know you can turn around also and you can lean more towards the darker colors even in summertime because i highly encourage you guys always even if you indulge in the trends try to do what's comfortable for you so if cream light colors let's say those are trending uh if it's not your thing just don't do it even if people say that it's not okay who who cares okay it's up to you an example of this you can see in this outfit she has on a two-piece kind of tailored set we can see the tailored vest on top which vest you guys know have been big big trending I think for probably at least the last year maybe longer so they're still continuing but I'm seeing a lot of brands start to push these out themselves so although she's going for like a darker color this does look like it's something more comfortable for summertime because it is sleeveless um even this next one i feel like i've shown you guys this picture a million times but it's basically from the alexander wang runway you can see that she's kind of doing it in an all white way she's showing a little bit of boxers uh this will be a really great way to pull it off with a bikini if that's what you're into maybe you're on vacation that would definitely be a vibe honestly yeah there's so many ways that you can do the tailored look 
if this is something that you're into definitely just take what part interests you the most like if you're a blazer girl you're gonna be all the way here for this if you're into trousers you're definitely going to be here for this i personally will probably be wearing every variation of tailoring because i just think it's so classic it's so cute but it does not have to be boring you definitely can like mix it up and switch it up i'm sorry i don't know how many times i've talked about this but it's it is on the list it's on the list for trends of summer 2022 <laughs> and y'all know i'm obsessed i'm sorry do we have to mention this skirt again yeah it, in order to get context i'm gonna have to talk about the skirt and you guys know if you follow me you know i'm talking about the Miu Miu micro mini skirt so yes micro mini skirts are heavily trending i feel like we have taken mini skirts to a whole new level we really went back to like the y2k era maybe even like to the extreme mini skirts are minier than ever they are not only you know short they are also hitting low just like uh the Miu Miu mini skirt i never thought i'd see the day where i would wear a mini skirt that was also low on top so basically we're wearing belts as skirts now and i'm i'm here for it okay so there's many ways that you can wear this look if you want to be more you know covered up with it or if you are willing to let it all hang out you may do so um as you can see i have um multiple variations of it i did at least show you guys a different mew mew skirt okay so look can we at least give props to that so like in this first example so she is wearing like a micro mini skirt but she did pair with like a button down so you're not seeing absolutely everything but in this next picture you can see that this is the classic i say classic like like the Miu Miu mini skirt just been around at this point look i know the Miu Miu mini skirt hasn't been here very long but at this point she's a classic we've seen her so much there's instagram pages dedicated to this skirt even though i'm into wearing them i definitely try to find like a nice pair of like fitted little not boxer shorts but sliding shorts kind of like what i have on so you don't have to wear that but i'm just saying if you're into this trend that's something that's very helpful that way you don't have to worry about you know when you bend over everybody seeing what you got going on um so yeah that's just i feel like it's an obvious suggestion but you know some some things aren't so obvious to everybody okay like i said i feel like we're getting a little exciting this summer so one trend that i noticed that i personally was really excited about and I thought it was pretty cute. I thought it was pretty cool. But I feel like this trend is giving very much Leo energy as we need during the summer. So yes, if you're wondering, I'm a Leo. But anyways, you guys, it's New Year's all summer. Pull out your New Year dress, whatever you wore for New Year's. I hope you didn't get rid of it because you can wear it during the summer. It's all those sparkles, all those sequins, all those shine, shiny things. Oh yeah, they're here to stay. All the bedazzled shoes from New Year's shining and sparkling all summer. I think that is so fun. Again, this is a trend that you can like kind of choose one end of the spectrum or like the other end because it can get a little crazy, but it also can be very subtle and cute. So if you are daring, you probably would be someone who's going to pull out like a full like shimmery sequiny dress. If you're not trying to, you know, be a walking disco ball, you would probably be that person that's going to pull out maybe the little shimmery mini skirts. I have this one picture example that's really, really cute. And she paired it basically with like a vintage tee. I just thought that that made the skirt itself so much more casual than it actually is so that's definitely a way that you could take the sequin skirt and make it you know just more calm down more of like a just going out on a regular night type of night i do feel like a full sequin outfit even on a night out during the summer is giving it's your birthday but you know what if every day is your birthday that is just fine but if you're not into that there's different ways you can do it. Another way that I have really, really been into and probably my most favorite way is to do it in accessories. So it's kind of just like a little pop. When you don't want to do all that extra stuff, you can add like a little bag. Those have been circulating everywhere. You can literally find those diamond bags everywhere for like any price point. 
Also, I really love it in shoes. There's nothing like a little neutral outfit and letting it look. You guys know shoes are supposed to be the statement in a lot of outfits. So to bring out those diamond, shiny, sequin shoes and let them be the center of attention, like, I don't know about you, but the first thing I look at is somebody's shoes. Let me see what you're working with. And if you got on the diamond shoes, I'm impressed. The end. Okay, so I feel like this one is kind of a given and we find a new way to spin it every year. <laughs> so this year they are calling this trend bare midriffs. All in all, y'all, crop tops, okay, bralettes, showing your stomach, letting it all hang out. That is the vibe, that is the trend. So again, this trend can be worn in many different variations. So this first picture here, we've got some New York street style going on and you kind of get a little feel of how you could really just really casually wear this trend. As you guys know, you cannot do too much layering when it comes to summer fashion. So this is a really good way, just throw on a little crop top, throw on your favorite pair of jeans and you can just head out. I really do try my best to find different variations of people um, throughout Pinterest, but it can be very, very hard. But look, let me tell y'all, I've seen with my own eyes people of many different colors, people of many different body sizes pulling off the crop top. I love, love, love seeing older women in their crop tops. They typically wear them with like higher waisted pants, okay? I feel like we're really getting rid of the stigma of you can't do this anymore or you know, you have a kid, you gotta stop looking like this. That's going away, okay? And I'm excited because before it wasn't looking very fun to grow up and now, you know, I might be a little into it. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. Like, of course, if it's not comfortable for you, don't do it, but look, if you're interested, I say try out some different variations just to see and who knows, you might like it. I feel like now is really the time that I can just wear like my bralettes and stuff like just by themselves, you know, with a nice moisturizer. I feel like I'm going to have to mention a couple times in this video, like don't fight me, but if you are a regular and you haven't figured this out about me yet, I don't know what to tell you. But I'm very much so into Y2K. But wait, 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 wait. Hear me out this time. We're doing Y2K a little different this summer. Okay, the girlies have heard that a some people are very disturbed by how far Y2K can go. So look what's trending. It's not just Y2K. We have modern Y2K. So what is modern Y2K? Modern Y2K is kind of what I just explained. It's kind of like more of a, I don't want to say lukewarm, because it's really still just as cute. Uh, it's just like a more calmed down, modern version, obviously, of Y2K. So if you don't know, Y2K is literally year 2000. As y'all know, people got a little crazy with their fashion. And then when people tried to translate it over to like 2020, not everybody was excited about it. I've been seeing like smaller designers come out with their own variations of Y2K and it seems to make people a lot more comfortable. There are different aspects that make an outfit Y2K. Yes, it can be the crazy colors. It can be the crazy logos and West Coast vibes like Von Dutch and Ed Hardy, but it does not have to be that. So you can even think like low rise pants. They don't have to be bedazzled. There's definitely like the low rise trousers, which I've been seeing go around a lot. So first trend that I showed, which was like the tailored fit, but it's like pleated trousers that just hang low on you. One thing that I've been seeing that's kind of giving me more modern Y2K vibes is definitely like the cutouts on tops. So cutouts definitely were very Y2K and I'd say a little bit 90s, but I feel like people have come up with some new variations, surprisingly, because I know all of these trends, they're all going to be recycled, okay? People ain't got that many ideas. But yeah, pretty much you just make it your own. And I think that's why I like Y2K so much, is I just feel like it is one of those eras where people just didn't have any rules. And you guys know I hate rules in fashion. Like, I'm really not a fan. I feel like if it looks good on you, wear it. And so I think that's kind of the appeal for me about Y2K. They really just did not care what other people thought and they just went out anyway. And I just love that type of confidence. Guys, this next trend, 
I'm not sure if this has ever trended before. I don't know. I have not been making these videos that long. But I definitely have seen people do this. I actually have done this during the summer. So I'm happy that it's becoming a trend because now nobody's going to stare at me. But some of y'all may be like, why? Why would this be a trend? Because it's cute. That's why. And the trend is knee-high knee-high boots. Now nothing screams hot girl. No, no, no. City girl. It's a city girl summer. Nothing screams city girl like a mini skirt or some little booty shorts and knee high boots. That is so daring. I love that. You don't have to keep them in fall and winter anymore, but I will say a couple things that may help us bring this trend into summer better. Number one, wear socks. You know where I'm going with this. We don't want to smell that. Don't pull up to a cookout and you knee high boots and you don't have socks on. That's the minimum. That's the least you could do. Seriously, some ways that we really could bring in the knee high boots trend without looking, you know, too ridiculous. You still don't look ridiculous to people who don't really keep up with fashion. But you definitely could look into maybe a colorful pair of knee high boots like these orange ones right here. I just think something like this would be absolutely gorgeous during the summer. It would definitely make a pop, definitely stand out. Or maybe even find a cream colored pair of boots. Now I'm not really sure if we can consider a cowboy boot a knee high boot, but I personally feel like you know it's pushing it or it probably even can meet there. So I really feel like we could pull our cowboy boots out. I know I think it was last year or the year before, I don't know. I think it was last year, but cowboy boots were trending. I hope the girls did not get rid of their cowboy boots, okay? Look, if you know how to style it, keep your stuff. But I personally will be pulling my cowboy boots back out right along with this trend. There is nothing like a cowboy boot, denim short, crop top combination. I know that is very southern of me. Look, it hits. It's a top tier combination, okay? Um, so yeah, knee high boots, bring them out. We're bringing the legs out. It's the time to bring the legs out, therefore we will be doing it. Okay, since I just gave you one that's kind of different, that's not so predictable, it's time to get to the predictable. We have to talk about it. I feel like I can't make a summer trend video without talking about this trend. It wouldn't even make sense anymore. But of course, you guys, we have to talk about color. Color, of course, will be trending. Now, technically, color and printed color and stuff like that will be trending. Y'all know I'm not really a fan of patterns. So, I'm going to kind of explain to you how I will be incorporating this trend into my summer wardrobe. So, if you see me on a pattern, it's probably going to be like a Y2K kind of vibe. But, any other time, you'll probably see me wearing this trend in the form of monochromatic. So that just means pretty much I will wear the same color all the way down. Uh, when it comes to that, you do not have to wear the same exact color, just in the same family. That's just a way that I feel comfortable wearing color. I personally am not that girl that can walk out in a, in a tropical colorful dress. Like, keep the Hawaiian flower dress from me. I don't really want it. Look, if you like to wear it, that's great for you. I personally cannot. That's what I'm trying to say here. So I kind of stick to more solids, if anything. Um, another way that I will be incorporating this trend into my, not closet, I already have this stuff, but into my summer outfits um, is with a pop of color or with a couple of pops of color. So that means like something like I'll wear pink shoes and a pink bag or I'll do like, maybe even mix it up, wear green shoes and a pink bag, something like that. There's definitely many ways to do this. You could, of course, still have your print. But yeah, honestly, it's just really fun. Summer is the time to like really make your outfit stand out. You're going on vacation. You want to take those pictures right in front of the ocean. You don't want to blend in with the ocean. You're trying to pop out. Like we're trying to pop out this summer. So I, look, I'm not mad at color during the summertime. Uh, it makes everything very fresh, very interesting. Nothing screams vacation like a little colorful two-piece set. So yeah, girls, it's time to bring out the colors. And as far as what colors are trending, I'm gonna leave that up to you. So this is one of the trends that I was telling you guys that I did mention during my spring trends video. 
and of course it's circulating towards the summer and I think I even said that in the video I said that you know we're starting it now but you're going to keep seeing it of course throughout summer like it would not make sense for it to disappear and that is crochet slash knit wear I just got the cutest the cutest the cutest crochet set it's like these little cargo crochet pants and like a matching top and y'all I just cannot wait for you guys to see it it's so cute of course we're gonna first think of our cover-ups and our bikinis but we're not keeping it at that there are so many different ways and so many different variations of crochet now the girls have been getting very crafty literally they've been making them themselves and they've been making some cute little crop sweaters some cute little kind of patchwork type crochet it's all very very nice i think my personal favorite are the crochet pants it's just something about putting like see-through net looking pants on top of little bikini bottoms that just really hits different for me i would even dare say if you are going on a vacation you definitely need something crochet whether it be a crochet bag as an accessory your crochet bikini or even crochet hats like i just feel like it really screams like i'm on a summer vacation right now leave me alone okay next trend so this one i found kind of interesting because i was like okay we're gonna make this a whole trend now um and i guess we are okay because i have been kind of seeing it a lot and i actually have been buying things like this myself so like i guess it is a trend and that is logo tanks so if you want to know who to blame for logo tanks and not saying they were the first person to come up with a logo tank because obviously like who even came up with that i don't know that's been a thing for like a long time but now it's like a a hot thing so we can thank or blame Prada for this trend so Prada came out with their logo tank everybody went crazy um, and then other brands they didn't follow suit but other brands actually just kind of already had these one tank top that I can think about with a logo on it that I've seen a lot over the years is the Orson Iris tank top but to be honest the Prada one really isn't even my favorite I would have to say the Cutest one to me would probably be like the Marine Sarah ones and I know even Alexander Wayne carries a few of them because I have a top that is kind of like that as well. But yeah, pretty much just a top with a designer logo on it. Now I will say it does not have to be designer. I also have, um, I have this one tank top that's actually from ASOS and it's just a white tank top and it has like a little black logo. So there definitely are affordable options out there. Really just the point of it is like not to just wear a basic tank top like it adds like the smallest bit of interest but like still interest nonetheless this is really good for my people who want to add like something a little more interesting in their closet if you already have like your tank tops and stuff like already on deck you can probably look into something a little bit elevated like a logo tank all right y'all this trend i'm actually wearing right now look one thing about this trend I'm going to stick beside her. I'm going to stick beside her all year. You can't tell me anything about this combination. Absolutely nothing. All the people that say, you shouldn't do that after Labor Day. I don't care. Look, the girls who get it, get it. And the girls who don't, don't. And that is wearing all white. And I'm going to do it all year. And best believe, I'm especially, did I say specially? I'm going to especially do it during the summer times you know we were all white when we we're feeling godly so best believe i will be bringing that this summer so when it comes to wearing all white there's obviously so many ways you can do it but don't be mistaken i feel like there's a lot of people that feel when they wear all white they literally have to match their whites no you do not i personally feel like if you're pulling up to an occasion and you're wearing all white you're probably automatically going to be that girl like who's not going to look at the person wearing all white now i know that may not be everybody's aim so look if you don't want nobody to look at you uh being a vision being a blessing to everybody's eyes don't show up in all white but look if you do want that all white is definitely the way to go i have a lot of picture examples of different ways you can wear all white of course you can do your all white dress who's that who's that rapper that said all white dress is that how is that how I went? All white dress, body looking like a milk. My chick back. Tell your chick to go home. Who, what was that? Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm not even sure if the lyrics are right on that. But look, 
those are the vibes when you bring out your white dress okay so i have some really really good summer content coming up let me tell y'all i'm having a legendary city girl summer it's gonna be legendary the fits legendary the vibes legendary so y'all gotta stick around for the vlogs and you have to stick around for all the fashion videos I'm gonna have. I know it's hard to be, you know, a little different and a little stylish when it comes to summertime dressing, but I've got y'all. So make sure you stick around. All right, you guys, that was my last trend out of my 10 trends. Of course, let me know what your favorite trend was. And if you want to, you can even let me know what your least favorite trend is on the list. Alright y'all, I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and hit the like button if you did enjoy this video. And I will see you guys next time on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.